demonstrates how we can carry out a two-sample t-test using Excel stat. I'm going to use this example as a demonstration. Say, for example, we want to see whether there's a difference, there's any statistical difference between average flight departure delay between Delta Airlines versus that of Southwest Airlines. So this is a clearly a two-sample problem. One sample represents all the flights from Delta Airlines. The other represents all the flights from Southwest. If you do look up our carrier codes, you know Delta is represented using DL, whereas Southwest is represented using WN. So let's take a look at our data. So this is the data we have. We have two columns. The first column represents all the carrier. So it started with AA. And um, so that represents American Airlines. If you go down this big spreadsheet, you can see Alaska is AS. And uh, there are many different carriers. And you probably have already seen Delta Airlines here as well. And the second column represents the actual departure delay. And this is actually measured in minutes. Okay, so we have two columns, carrier versus departure delay. And we want to see whether there's any difference when the carrier is DL for Delta versus when the carrier is WN for Southwest. So let's take a look how we can do this test using Excel stat. I'm going to start my Excel stat. I'm going to go to parametric test. It is a two sample test. I'm going to click on this one. So we do see a dialog box here. And we have to tell Excel style what kind of data format we have. Do we have one column per sample? Per sample here represents that Delta versus Southwest. That means we have one column for Delta and a second column for Southwest. We do not have that data. We do not have that kind of data format. Instead, we have one column per variable. One column for carrier. The second column is for departure delay. So it's going to be this one. Make sure you refresh it to reset it. And you choose one column per variable. So the data we have, there's two boxes we have to fill. The first one is data. So the data we are analyzing here refers to the departure, de uh, departure delay. So this is a numerical variable, also known as a quantitative variable. So make sure data is selected this way. And sample identifier, it represents how do you define your sample. That means how does Excel style know which, which column represents delta. Uh, that same column also represents Southwest. That's going to be the first column, A, the carrier column. So make sure B and A is selected this way. And again, we have a column labels because we have the carry and the departure delay. Oh, sorry, make sure you. Okay. So test, is it going to be a Z test or is it going to be a T test? I would recommend to use a T test because Z test, Z test makes a much stronger assumption about their variance of two samples. They have to be same and things like that. So options. So for the alternative hypothesis, what kind of all? What kind of alternative hypothesis do we have? So we have three choices. Mean one, one represents delta. Is delta the same as Southwest? Um, the second choice means is delta less than Southwest? The third choice represents is delta more than Southwest? I think the question actually asks us to test whether they are the same or not. So the alternative should be this one. But for some other situations, you might need to change it to the second or the third option. So I'm going to stick with the first one here. And hypothesize difference because we want to see whether there is any difference between them. So whether their difference is zero or not. If you think delta is five minutes longer delay, the delay of a delta is five minutes longer, you might want to change this to five or any other number. Significance level alpha is 5%. And the population variance, are you going to assume equality or not? I'm going to assume equality here. 
And occasionally, we may have missing data, so we want to remove the observation, remove the missing observations, and output. So you do want to check all of them. Charts. I don't need any of those for this purpose. I'm just gonna click OK, and continue. Okay. A separate worksheet. You see the output from Excel stat. I'm gonna remove all the gray lines because it's gonna make my presentation much cleaner. And this output is a lot of output. And the reason is because we are doing this pairwise two sample t test, and there are many different carriers. But we are only concerned with southwest and delta. So we want to make sure. For example, this output we have here. This output we are looking at right now here. It represents comparing the difference between American Airlines versus Delta, but this is not what we needed. We want to find the the comparison between Delta DL DL versus Southwest WN. So we want to look for that. You can scroll down, or alternatively, you can do a search. I'm looking for Delta, so I'm gonna DL, and I'm gonna find next. So this is Alaska versus Delta. That's not what we wanted. I want to find Delta versus WN, and that is this. This is what we needed. Okay. So this part is gonna be the part I'm gonna copy into my report, and this actually tells us the result, the comparison, a two two sample t-test comparison between Delta versus Southwest. Okay. So let's take a look at the result we have. So we have the difference between them. This is the sample difference, and the t statistics. This is your test statistics. You also have your critical value, the degrees of freedom, and also the p value. The alpha was said to be five percent, so it's point oh five. Because the p value is more than the alpha, it is bigger than alpha. So we do not reject it now. We do not reject it now. Excel stat also tells us the same thing. One cannot reject the null. So what is the null? The null is the difference between the means. That means the difference between the average departure de departure delay of Southwest versus Delta is equal to zero. We do not reject the null. So that means the null is correct for our data. So the difference between the departure average departure delay of those two carriers is actually not very different from zero. And so that's gonna be our conclusion, and we do want to copy this part into our report as well. Thank you so much for watching.